uh, apparently sometime after you kicked uh, Andros's ass, Venom went from being a desert planet to a mystical green planet. I don't fully get it myself. Sweet. So what I need to do now is find one more switch. And whatever that switch is. Not really. Hmm. Cool. And now we found the switch. Let's go and kick some ass at the base. I'm so confused though, it's like Venom was a remote desert planet, and somehow Flana and Flora just went, Surprise! We're here now! You know that desert? Nah, we decided to terraform. Because, yeah, Andros' base isn't on Venom anymore, it's actually on Solar. Uh, somehow he managed to comprise a giant battle station at the sun of the galaxy? So, uh, just gonna nod our head and just go with it. Take care of these turrets. And then we're gonna take care of this, uh, Metroid-esque door blocker. There we go. Now, I wonder what kind of core it's gonna be. Okay, this kind of core. For these cores, there's only one thing you can really do, is just strafe and shoot. Again, even though you haven't defeated my dragon! Head for Canary and ready the planet cannon! So, yeah, now we need to take out this battleship before it's too late. Oh, crap, 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 crap! Okay, go. Whoa, that's. boss. I've never. Kind of left a. Why'd I do that? Okay. I've got to kick this thing's ass before it fires that damn planetary cannon at Corneria. Um, I didn't even know the battleships had a planetary cannon. That's, uh. new to me. Like, I I I'm dead serious. Alright, so once again, we need Circle Strafe and take out the two, uh, fuck me here points. Okay, Val's just destroyed, and the interplanetary should, interplanetary cannon should just die? Should? Good, that ought to slow him down. So, now all that's left is the Hydra. Hold on, folks. Anyway, so, let's see if we can... Oh, come on! It's right there! Alright, I guess the satellite base doesn't destroy the space dragon or Hydra, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, Mirage Dragon. So this ball okay, the space dragon went down <laughs> in point two. Wow. That was uh fast. Wolf Andros force have been swept away. <laughs> We've got him right where we want him. I, Wolf, won't let you go any farther. So now we fight Star Wolf. Brats, time for pun punishment. Detestable punks. Time to end all rivalry. No! Star Fox! I'll pay you back 
for this! Alright, so now we warp to Andros's interstellar planetary light-up base in the heat of solar. In which we launch a full-scale attack! So, um, uh, as we all know, our wings can withstand up to temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Thank God they're nowhere near the center of the planet. So, basically, what we're gonna do here is nothing more than basically what else you would expect from the Star Fox 2 map. It's a giant maze! So yeah, the goal of this is to find your way to the center of Andros' inter, uh, interplanetary space fortress of death and destruction. And the best way to do that is, of course, to go on foot as the walker. Special weapon. Ah, special weapon. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna fall in the lava. Get out, get out, get out! Hmm. It's glad, I'm glad I grabbed that heart. Oh wow, she made that jump. And, oh great. The, uh, of course, the saver Maduhiki actually decided to uh, go bye bye on me. Alright, pressing on. Alright, continuing on inside Andros's base of epicness. And now that the paths have converged, there's only one way to go now. Forward. So yeah. It's time to kick the time to kick Andros's ass and show the monkeys who's boss. Admiral Star Fox! I love that that I love that Andros' base has the Captain Harlock symbol on it. So once we get rid of this, we get to fight Andros in his cube form. Alright. And that's it! Game's over! We beat Andros! Woo! Or have we? No, not yet. We get to do another inside core thingy we do, Hickey. Oh, and look, it's just as trippy. Suffer! Oh, yeah, folks. We get to fight the amazing eye again. Except this time, he just shuns back and forth. Oh, and fires fire beams! Oh, and, uh, yeah, we're in all range mode. So, thankfully, this isn't as bad as the 64 brain boss. This guy, instead, instead of, you know, killing you with his, uh, Abdul Oblongata of death and destruction, he just basically likes to warp around the place. Also try to do his weird little pseudo 3D effect. Come on! And once it's done... Basically, gotta unload on him as he fires multiple copies of himself at you. But of course, with a few quick twin laser hits, he's dead. Now we gotta get out of subspace and out of this trippy atmosphere. Oh, damn, we get hit by aftershock. But no, me, you must live! Even though they completely kill her off because she doesn't make a reappearance at all afterwards. Actually, I'm pretty damn sure uh, Mew was basically the basis for Cat. Phew, we did. What are you talking about? It was a team effort. It was a team effort. Mm, love that 16-bit voice acting. Quickly, go to Plaid! 
So yes, folks, that was Star Fox 2, the cancelled SNES game that they kind of try to bring back with Star Fox Command. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really enjoy Command that much. Um, I like that it was trying to redo this idea, but to me in certain cases it just didn't feel like Star Fox 2. Which of course I played Star Fox 2 way before I played Command, so that could be it. But I bet you're wondering, um, what's you know, what else is there to this game besides this? Well, if you do hard mode, you'll fight all four members of Star Wolf, you'll fight an additional Andros boss, and after the first wave, Andros will take over more planets. Like, I think two more. And in expert mode, it's all four members of Star Wolf, I think three bosses, and he'll take over every single planet. And in that case, they're just constantly launching missiles at Corneria. Not to mention the enemies hit harder, so... Extra mode really is the way to play this game. But what else do I say about it? I really wish this game was fucking released! I mean, I don't get why they couldn't have... They were 95% done with this game! All they had left to do was finish debugging it, and then localize it for the US. I mean, hell, even if it didn't get a US release, I still don't see why they couldn't have finished this and then quit- and then immediately get to work on Star Fox 64. I really don't get it. Because, I mean, all in all, this is a great game. Great music, it introduces all range mode, introduced uh, the Walker, which was basically the Landmaster. Introduced two new characters, and the fact that every single character had their own unique skill set was really cool and unique. Honestly, I think this game would have sold well if it was released, and then, of course, 64 sold amazingly. But that's really all I have to complain about. And, all in all, I really enjoy this game. If you've never played Star Fox 2, then by all means, find a copy of it and play it. Let's see how we did. To the feet of Andros, with a pretty cool sprite for his base exploding. So we rescued two out of two planets, killed two out of two battleships, uh, killed seven innocent bystanders, and two missiles. Got a two-star rating. Ah! Really? I, I, didn't, I didn't do better than uh, my other scores I've done on here? Which is funny, too, because... Oh, wow, really? Anyway, folks, that was Star Fox 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. As for my next Let's Play, I've already decided I'm going to be doing, um... I'm going to be doing a Sonic hack, because I just recently got a picture... Hang on, pause a second, I should be heard. Because uh, I recently got a picture done on my Fur Affinity account, and part of the picture had something Sonic-oriented, and I've been kind of in a Sonic mood. So, next Let's Play, I'll either be doing uh, Sonic Zeta Overdrive 4... Or Sonic Mega Mix on these uh, that the Mega Mix team did. So expect one of those up next, folks. And I think I might do a s another Let's Play just to do a side by side, so we can start so I can start pumping these out again like I normally do. So if that is the case, I'll be doing one of those Sonic ones and probably an N64 game. Until then, next. Until then, guys. See ya.